Minister, I want to also welcome the publication of the Scali report. I think there is universal acceptance that he has done a good job in the time frame given to him and the terms of reference that uh, governed the work that he did. But he admits himself that he was unable to establish the full facts and the truth in many areas because of a lack of time, access to information uh, and so on. So there does need to be an awful lot more work done to establish the full facts and the truth. And if that means, Minister, a Commission of Investigation, that's what should happen. Let there be no doubt about that whatsoever. What he did uncover, though, has risen, has risen, uh, risen serious questions in relation to the Department of Health, the HSE and cervical check in terms of systems, practices and procedure uh, failures. We know from the report that one of the company labs, CPL, outsourced part of its work to four labs that were not accredited or certified to the standards demanded by cervical check. The problem here, Minister, is that Mr Scali in his report says that cervical check knew of this. They knew of that and yet did not take the appropriate action. In fact, Mr Scali says in his report on page 56, he asked a number of questions. What was the volume of cervical check tests performed in each of these four laboratories? What was their compliance with quality and uh, standards? Did CPL inform cervical check of workload being transferred to other sites and were such transfers approved? So even in his report, he is asking questions that he cannot uh, answer. And it is incredible that that is the case. In relation to uh, outsourcing uh, Minister of uh, Contracts, there was also questions in relation to rolling over of tenders, issues in relation to procurement. I'm sure the Public Accounts Committee will examine this as well. But Mr Scully was very damning in relation to the uh, non-disclosure issue. And that's very important, Minister because we can't explain all of this away that these were simple systems failures. This, and some of this happened by design, where individuals took decisions to withhold information from women. And I'm not about witch hunts or about looking for people's heads for the sake of it, but surely people have to be held to account for that. We've had it for far too often, we've seen it in many areas, not just in health but across the public service where there's failures. We circled the wagons, we explained all this away as simple systems failures when there are individuals who made very bad decisions and need to be held to account. And one of the ways that can be done, Minister, is a commission of investigation and I would hope that you will be able to say today that that is still on the table and still something the government could and will support.